Okay, so I went ahead and added two more slides to the slider. I'm going to open that up and show you. I have demo two, demo three. The first two are images. The third one is a video. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is if you are doing something like this, uh, the slide image and the slide video both come in at the exact same place. So you can only have one or the other. They will cancel each other out. But uh, I have that up now. I have this slider up. So let's go take a look at that. We have that slides in. The text slides in. You see that whatever I have the button has slides in. The video one, this was one I really wanted to show you. You can see that we can have a video right in the slider and make this nice looking box here and have this next to the text. So next thing that we're going to take a look at is uh, each of these sections too. One thing I do want to mention is now that this section is set like this, you don't want to just go to insert modules because this is a full width section. You are going to want to go to add row when you want to add something else underneath that's not full width. And then you're going to want to go to insert columns. And next we will take a look at the blurbs so and with the blurbs we're going to go you can have four on here if you want I'm just gonna go with one third one third one third and for each of these I'm going to have to insert them one by one but when I do it I'm gonna go into here insert a blurb you can also insert blogs doing it this way this will actually link to articles and pull in the featured image so you're gonna to want to make sure that if you use this, each of your blogs has a featured image set. But with the blurb, I'm going to go ahead and give that a title. And you can put a URL in with this as well. So each of your blurb images will link to a page. And then the URL you choose opens in the same window or opens in new window then choose an image. Um, I actually had to go and use another program to round these videos. I will have that program linked in the bottom because it gave it a nice shadow effect, made it look real nice, and you may want round images as well because for me personally, I just think that they add a little bit more to the page. So let's go ahead and add the image. And then, of course, we have our alt text again, which will be whatever you have for the image or whatever the product is. Uh, image animation, you can choose top to bottom, left to right, right to left, bottom to top, or no animation. This is going to be where if you set no animation, it's not going to have a slide in effect. But if you set this top to bottom, your images are going to appear with nothing at first and then slide in from whatever way you told them to slide in from, which really catches the eye a lot more, and it really just makes the page look a lot nicer. Uh, then, of course, you have text color here as well for dark or light. Text orientation, center, left, right. And then just this little piece right here where we are going to paste in the text. And if you ever have an, a problem like that where the text is white or the text already has formatting, you can just clear formatting. And now your text has all the extra code stripped out and it will work just fine. Okay, guys, now I have all three blurbs in, so let's go back to the page and refresh. And now you'll see as we scroll, the images come in and the text underneath. 